This is game changing. I'm just blown away. Literally blown away. You're a literal game changer. Hey guys and welcome back to my channel, it's me Lord Crumps and I've got some huge exciting new updates to share with you. So Sims 2 has been around for about 17 years now so it is a buggy game but it holds a lot of nostalgia to a lot of us. I'm going to take credit for this because a couple of days ago I was in Lazy Duchess's Discord and I mentioned that I wanted, I didn't care about open worlds but what I wanted was to have the lots in the neighbourhood non-blurry. And a few days later, we get a little teaser from Lazy Duchess herself saying, oh, I figured something out. I might be able to put this in the next update of the RPC launcher, which I'll go into a little bit later. But lo and behold, yes, she has done it. And <laughs> by golly, has it got more stuff than you could ever imagine. So this is how the world, the hood, as you want to call it, looks without any sort of customization or anything like that. I'm so excited, I don't know if you can tell. Let's show you how to install the RPC. And there's also option as well, if you don't quite like the idea of the RPC, then there is something else for you. So this is Lazy Duchess's Tumblr. And there, I'll put the link in the description below so you'll be able to get to this. But you can see one of the first things is the Sims 2 RPC mod launcher for Mansion and Garden. So if you've already got it installed, this well, as soon as you bump it open, it should just automatically update. Where if not, you can literally, simple as, one click auto installer, go to sim file share, and click download. But then you run this. I have it already installed in my game. So you follow this and it should automatically install it already. Once you've done that, you then want to go into your PC, your local disk, your program files. You want to go to your origin games. Um, because obviously this is for Ultimate Collection, if you've got Ultimate Collection or obviously where you installed it. Then you go to the Sims 2 Ultimate Collection, Fun with Pets, SP9, TS Bin, and then you see this new little icon here, the Sims 2 RPC settings. Now a couple of these will be ticked, some of them won't be. So you can do like a design tool, so you can, it's usually like 15 simoleons for you to, when you recolor items it costs money, but you can have it set to zero so it's free, which is a fantastic part of the RPC as well itself. You can enable screenshots every time you hit print screen, you don't have to then save back to your memory, it saves straight away into your screenshots folder. You can go to single threaded here, so sometimes, sometimes older games only run using one core, sometimes some PCs work better with it, some don't. I find it runs better for me personally on a single threaded, even though I've got eight cores in my PC. However, some people would have noticed a difference at all. It also applies a four gigabyte patch automatically, which for those who haven't seen my last video about what mods I did, that's one of the crucial things to stop crashes and pink soup and all that sort of stuff that you have around. And that is one of the best things I can tell you to get. And then automatically clean cache. So this is amazing. And like it says here, clear cache on every game load to prevent issues on startup. To then get your lot imposters, that's what you call it, the blurry lots to be different or your shadows to be different, you've got the graphics tab at the top here. So you can either click enhanced and you can see here, this is how the shadow should look when it's enhanced. You've got medium, which is like this, or you've got classic, which is the, the grainy. And then it comes to lot imposters. So you can either click medium, class so classic is the original lot here, you can see. You've got medium and you've got enhanced. I do find that putting it on medium is pretty good and it's a damn sight better than everything, especially if you've got larger hoods, because I like to play in huge, huge hoods. So I'm going to keep it on medium, keep the shadows on enhance, might as well. And then I click save settings. And you can either save and play here, or you can close this and use the actual RPC EXE in this TS bin. So you can copy this, go to your desktop, ignore my desktop, I'm creating a hood at the moment, so I've got loads of like files and stuff. And you can paste shortcut, and then there you've got your own custom RPC, which then will boot the game. Now, if you don't have that, which I highly recommend you do have the RPC, because not only does it give you those options, it also automatically updates when it needs to. It's got a Discord rich presence, so it tells you what neighborhood you're playing with, what sim, how long you've been playing, as you can see here, and what even what sim it is. So if you're active in a Discord, di if you're active in a Discord communities, it's fantastic to let other people be more immersed to your gameplay. 
you've got better live mode camera control so you can like be a bit smoother and that was an option in there like smoother cameras and also the biggest thing as well so every time you have a baby you have to roll a pacifier otherwise you end up with a firstborn syndrome which basically means that every child has got the same personality they look the same or you know it's basically a clone of each each sim unless you reload the lot and stuff like that or you roll a pacifier roll the dice use a bat box there's so many different versions that what people do they can go into create a sim and make a baby and roll the pacifier loads and loads of times whereas this just fixes it automatically for you. One thing about the settings I didn't actually show you. Um, so RPC, it can, if you click here, you can windowed mode. You can go full screen, windowed or borderless. So you can actually play, choose what you want. I actually use borderless, but bear in mind that borderless and windowed mode they won't have edge scrolling. So again, of course, it's got the improved shadows and lot imposters. It's got a customizable design cost, and you got all this. For those who don't want the RPC and don't want to enjoy that. So there's this site here, RPC Lib for non RPC Sims 2. So you basically, it does require Mansion and Garden, but what you do is you download and you get all of these files. So now what you do with these files is you click and you drag those into your TS bin files. So obviously I've got BRS, I've got that already. So I'm just gonna create a quick desktop icon. You should have this folder here. So once you've dragged it into your TS bin file, you will find this RPC lib file. Open it up, um, more apps and open it up in Notepad. And it, it opens up in Notepad, providing you're on Windows 10. Forgive me, I don't know how to do this on Mac, but this is where you can update the design cost. So if you still want it 15, you just type it in there. The HQ imposters, so depending on what you want. Uh, at the moment, most people are just saying it to medium. Zero is classic and medium is one. And then um, again, enhance is 512 res and 12 blur. Classic is 128 res and 3 blur. Medium is 256 and 6 blur. So we'll leave it as 512 and 12. Expansion pack settings, max hex value. I'm not too sure about this. However, on the, on the RPC settings, you can see here, this is debug mode and you can enable pack selection and you can basically enable and disable any of the packs. And once you feel like you've changed everything you want in, what you do is you just go to file and you click save and you save it and you close. So again, this will be in your TSBin folder and then you'll boot the game as you would normally would. When you first load into lots and when you first load into the neighborhood, you're not actually going to see any difference. That's because you have to do a one further step. So if you do have a larger hood, this can be a bit of time consuming. However, it is worth it when you've finished and by golly, yes, 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 yes. I'll show you my custom hood after I've shown you the comparisons between the strange town. So yeah, as you can see, there's no physical changes at the moment. But then what you need to do is you need to get into, uh, get into any of the lots. Um, ideally you go through the whole hood and you do this. And what you do is you grab an item from build or buy and or place an object down, what I simply do is just rotate one of the plants and you're done. <laughs> this is game changing. So may I remind you, this, this right here, this is how it looks naturally, EA style. And this is what it looks like with the lot adjusters. It is honestly, <laughs> look at this, this is neighborhood view, look how clear it is. It is honestly incredible to see. I'm just blown away, literally blown away. You can see the neighbors, you can actually see like terrain paints and like it's not blurry on the edges anymore, which is phenomenal. And then you can literally see everything. Okay, there are some things where the terrain squishes out, but I would take that over anything else. And I mean like, just look, look at comparison between the two. I'm just, I'm just flabbergasted, literally. And with the shadows, just they're, they're just, they're just literally incredible. And now, excuse my build by, I've got hiders and everything for non, uh, for EA, uh, for Max's stuff. So I've got a bunch of castaway stuff. So as promised, this is my custom hood that I'm currently working on. As you can see, there's still a lot to do. I've got about. 51 more lots to furnish and finish. 
but I just want to show you, I've been building this world mainly today with the Lot Imposter and it is honestly like incredible. Like look at this for the detail and this is just on medium. Like, and it looks so real. It kind of opens it up massively and I'm super, super happy and I'm really, really grateful for Lazy Duchess and for everything she does. Now, bearing in mind this hood, I do have custom grass textures and road textures and everything like that. So that's why it looks a bit different. And I've got like castaway trees and it's like heavily modded, but it still runs relatively like nice. <laughs> and what I love about these lots as well is that when you're in this view, they like they join up instead of being like a weird, horrible, blurry thing. So I've actually got like three lots here, which thank you so much. She never asks or never shouts about it or anything like that. But if you do want to like donate stuff on Patreon, she does have a coffee and a Patreon page. Uh, like I'm one of her patrons because it's like she honestly is superb. She does like the story progression mods and she's got so many fixes like around for like just simple things and you could buy her a coffee and stuff like that. I'll see there I am telling her to get back to work. But um she's literally got like so so many. She's got the RPC, she's got default replacement, she's got the dating outing stood up fix. But we've got shader tweaks for Sims 3, she's got like everyone you know, i'm sure most people know about it but she's got better faces for pets like i don't play with pets and i saw these and i was like i'm always gonna go play with pets <laughs> but then like she's got traits and miscellaneous like tree imposters and smooth patch for sims 3 it's making the sims 3 smooth like oh thank you <laughs> thank you duchess <laughs> literally you're changing the way it is you're a literal game changer if anyone could have that title so thank you <laughs> thank you thank you thank you so please do check her out join her discord and let's say links will be below if you've got any questions then please put it in the comments i'm on twitter i've got discord as well uh, i'm on lord cramps on all socials and i know this has been a weird video after having such a hiatus, but I just had to say something. Like, this is too good not to. So thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you soon.